What's going on everyone? Welcome to a quick tutorial here on how to install mods into ATS. I've had a couple of messages from people asking me, hey, can you give me a hand here? I've got this mod, I can't get it to show up. Or, you know, a couple other people who have no idea how to do it, period. Which is understandable. Not everyone is into moving files and doing things like that. They just want to turn it on, start the game and play. So, I'm going to try to make this as easy as for anyone to do, even my own dad, so who barely knows how to turn a computer on. Basically, what you're gonna do, as many of you already know, you start off on a, on a website of your choosing. You know, do a search for it. You're gonna come up with like 15 of them. Uh, I choose two of them to go to go between uh, modsats.com as well as modland.net. Modland.net is nice because it has an option on some of these right here, direct download, so no pop-ups or anything like that. So today, I'm going to download, and I don't know if I've downloaded this one yet, it's a Freightliner Cascadia version 1.1 edited by Solaris. So, I'm going to direct download that one, and i got to wait 10 seconds right down here between the banners. Uh, be before it allows me to do it and I can see what the file is right here it's a uh, RAR file so that's done and there it is it's just downloading right up here so now when I'm done with that I can go ahead and back out when that's done downloading I can go into the downloads here and a little file will show up I can open up that file and it will take me directly to it now if you're downloading multiple files so say I downloaded the Freightliner Argosy here. Both of them will show up here. So it'll be this one and then right above that will be the new one. Okay. Oh, won't take that long. So these will both download and I'll go ahead and open that up right now. Now as you can see you got a part file, RAR file. That's only because it's downloading. It's not the complete file. So don't touch that thing. It, you mess with it, and then you're going to have to re-download it. Almost done. Sometimes these can drag on, but other times, it's basically, as soon as you click download, it's done. So we got that done. Now they're separated. I mean do this here date modified okay so I did the date modified I just clicked on it and it sorted them out to where the newest were at the top so what I'll do is I'll highlight them both cut them now over here in my documents file I made a special folder just for ATS mods I wanted to keep everything separate and kind of keep it organized as well so I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that one right click and paste now when I get in here here they are right at the top RAR files. So now I'm going to right click on the first one, extract files with 7-zip, and I already have it set up to where it's going to extract them here. It's just going to create a new folder. Now apparently I already have this one in here, so I'm going to do yes to all. Now once that's done, to help clean this thing up, the, this folder up, I cut it, I come back down here, but since I've already unzipped it once, I'm going to have to find it. There it is. And then I'll just paste it in there. Yes, replace the file. So what that did is it just dumped it, it, it put it right back in the folder. So now both the files I need are in there. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Highlight, right click, 7-zip, extract files. And then cut it. It'll be right here at the top. There we go, paste it right in there. So now that file is in there. What I can do from there is, oh, and real quick, if you notice all these files here, and why, are, you know, why I'm not opening these, these are SCS files. These are the files that you need to go into your mod folder for ATS. So sometimes when you download a mod, you don't get a zip or an R or an RAR or anything. It's already just a plain SCS file. You can just copy it or cut it, and drop it in your folder as is you don't have to do anything now once I do all that I'll come back in here I'll grab a copy it I don't want to cut it because I just want to leave the copy here go back to documents into American truck sim 
highlight mod and paste it. Now what will happen is it will dump that file in here. Don't know where it went, but it's in there. I know it is. I pasted it in there. So that file is now in here. So now that truck should be in there as well. And that was the Argosy. I've got different profiles here. This is my multiplayer. This is the test drive. And then this is my normal one with the Pete 389. So what I'll do is I'll go into the mod manager and you have to be sure the mod that you're going to play with is going to be on the profile you're going to use. I'll show you that here in a minute. So here it is right here, Freightliner Argosy reworked version 2. So I'm going to activate it, turn that light green, double click on it. Here's the problem though, I can't let it sit like this because these mods want priority over everything. So map mods are like that, they, they have to be, because the map is one of the first things loaded. So this is the order I currently have, Mex US can, and then I have my highway fixes right here, and then the compatibility patch, and then MHA Pro all the way down to one, and then coast to coast. After that, you can go ahead and basically put in whatever you want. A higher priority should normally mean that those trailers or trucks are going to show up more often. I haven't found that to always be the case. So once you're done there, you just click on confirm changes. Now over here on, the, on my test drive, there it is. I have to redo it. I have to highlight it again and then I have to bring it down. So a little bit of tedious work there if you got multiple profiles you're going to use. But since I only have two, it's no big deal. Now the other thing is Steam Workshop. Now the workshop is great. If you highlight something that you want, it'll automatically download it and install it. All you have to do is go into your mods manager and activate it. Easy peasy, nice and simple, and you're up and going. So it takes out, you know, the bulk of the work, and I don't know why it is not loading up for me. Maybe workshop's broken. But anyway, the workshop, if you highlight one of, if you put your mouse over one of the mods in the workshop, it'll see a plus sign come up in the lower right hand corner. If you click on that, that means you just subscribed to that mod. What's going to happen now is, is that thing is going to automatically download in the background and automatically install. So you just come into your mods manager and here's what I did last night. I actually downloaded the 888 bull herder uh, skin from Viper. So all I have to do is come over here and double click on it and now it's activated. If you don't want, if you want to deactivate something, you got a couple choices. You can highlight what you want to deactivate and hit the arrow to kick it back out. Or you can just double click on it and that should remove it. Watch out for these, if these double arrows, if you click on one of them, this one here is going to put everything into active mods. This one here will take everything out. So be mind be mindful of that when you're when you're playing around with stuff. But yeah, that that's pretty much it for that part. Work the Steam Workshop makes it very easy to install mods. All you have to do is activate them. But as far as putting in your own mods, that's pretty simple too. It's just a matter of keeping things organized. So like I said, you're gonna download it. Go into your downloads folder which is not showing up. So if you can't get your downloads folder to show up, I'm on Windows 10. So basically you just have to go to my computer or file or file explorer here and it should be right there downloads. Sometimes it might be in your PC, but you know, you might have to dig for it, but downloads is what you want and everything's going to show up there that you download unless you specify otherwise. So just make sure you check your downloads, highlight it, cut it, and then just to make it easier on yourself, make a separate folder and then just throw everything in there. And then from there, you know, you can just highlight whatever you want, cut it or copy it, not cut, because these SCS files, you'll have to re-download it. So copy it and then just paste it in there and everything will show up right there for you. No specific order to my knowledge of files in here. You can put them however you want. But uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. So hopefully that helped. If you have any other questions, reach me on Facebook. I try to get back to you guys as fast as I can. Um, 
Until next time, though, thanks for watching.